Hi Skills fans, it's Adam from Skills Loop. As you can see, we are at Canic Chase at the new drop. So if you were watching the Commonwealth Games, you'd have seen the big drop called Deer Drop. But that's been moved and it's just been put in here on section seven of Perry's Trail. And what a feature, it's an absolutely awesome feature. We have been bombarded with photos and videos and people asking what's the best technique because they stood at the top, got a little bit scared. So over the next few minutes, I'm just going to be helping you out with a few little key tips on making this super smooth and super fun. So first things first, get that dropper post down. If that seats up your arm, it's going to be a little bit harder. So press that button, drop that saddle down. Second thing to check, if you're running uh, double or triple chain rings, you might want to just make sure that it doesn't catch as you go over. If it does, we're going to show you how to get down this drop nice and smooth and like a pro. Okay, so first one is, is how to roll into this. So this drop is uh, rollable with a good technique. So first things first, a good strong attack position. I call it first position because it's the first thing you should be thinking about. So nice big D shape, keep that head forwards, nice high legs and really high hips, okay? It's going to give you a nice platform to drop into this drop off. Okay, so if you do come into this drop and you get scared, do not slam that front brake on. Easiest way of getting off your bike is to slide the bike through and step off the back of the bike. Okay, so that is the fundamental way of getting off the back of your bike in technical situations. Your mindset wants to be that you're going down that drop. So breaking it down. As you're approaching, nice big D shape, nice hinge, look for your line, push in. So as you can see, as I'm rolling in, I've got my knees really nice and soft and wide. And then I'm just pushing that bike down the drop and following the bike down. Don't sit back guys, roll with it. When you're going over, remember, nice big D shape go with the bike okay what you don't want to do is be sitting back and getting your ass braking on that back tire because that's just going to book you forwards okay so a nice big hinge nice big d shape and really push those bars into the slope now we're going to move on how to drop it like it's hot what we want is a nice high attack position first position we're going to roll in, we're going to do a slight unweight and then push that trolley guys. We're going to push those bars forwards, landing two wheels and just matching those wheels to that terrain. On the approach, you want to carry some speed. Don't forget guys, we are going uphill just here. So carry a little bit of speed in, that's going to get you on top and this is one bike length space. As you come in, stay high, don't duck down. Give, you, give your legs that space so that when, when you push out and push through, you're, you've got no chance of buzzing your butt off that back tire. Spot your line, straight down, look forwards to the berm. Huge tip guys, if in doubt, just wind it back a bit. There's nothing wrong with just stepping a few steps back to make a big step forward. I would really recommend you using something like this where you've got a nice deep roll in, You've got that, that kind of steep drop and a bit of kind of roll out. So find something that, that's very, very similar to what you are trying to uh, achieve and practice on that. Build that confidence up, check that body position and please try filming yourself. Watch what you're actually doing because what you actually do to what you think you are doing is always different. Ask any one of our customers. We spend so much time with feedback through the the kind of video footage uh, of the course and it's, that's where you will learn the most of what you you actually do okay so get on something like this and practice keeping it nice and smooth i'm just going to demonstrate that now keep that chin above that stem keep those legs nice and long guys you want the space push in roll away what you don't want to be seeing is this guys really low coming into it because that butt is going to catch that back tyre as soon as it rolls over. Tickle, tickle, tickle. All the way over. It's going to break that back tyre and it's going to chuck you, you up and over those bars. Like stay nice and tall. Give yourself that space and make sure that when you go over, you've got nice wide knees and nice soft knees. 
So guys, I hope that's been useful. It's just, just a few key tips. Remember, foundation skills are important. So get out there, practice those foundation skills. Make sure you've got a real good, strong attack position. And don't be tense. Even when you're scared, remember, when we are loose, we react better. When we become tense, we just become part of that bike. Things to think about is attack position, keeping those legs nice and tall, and then keeping that flow all the way through and going with the bike. Don't sit back, okay? I hear too many stories about this manual link off drops. It's not a manual, guys. We're going forwards, okay? Don't worry about going backwards. We always look forwards. So make sure your whole body weight and everything is going with you at that point. Thanks for watching. And if this has been really, really useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because occasionally we do put these videos up. And if you need help, jump onto skillsloop.com and get booked onto a course. See you soon.